Last night I was given the assignment of celebrity reaction to the protests, and as a journalist on a deadline, I quickly gathered my content, but when it came to Cardi B, I made the mistake of interpreting her post strictly on a surface level, and I knew I was wrong when the tweets started rolling in. I can assure you there was no conspiracy and it wasn't my intention to be misleading. It strictly came down to a man who needed an education lesson. Seeing people looting and going extremely outraged, you know, it makes me feel like, yes, finally, finally, mother is gonna hear us now, yeah. Last night I aired this clip of Cardi B and I unfairly categorized her words under the umbrella of promoting violence. But in that video clip, she went on to say, As much as people is so against it, at this point, I feel like I'm not against it, even though it, it, it do scare me and I don't want anybody to get hurt. But it's just, it's really frustrating. You want to know why? Because police brutality been going on even, even way before I was born. And after rewatching the entire clip, I recognize she was voicing her frustrations as a minority woman suffering through decades of not being heard. Let's say since Instagram started, how many peaceful protests have we seen? How many trending hashtags have we seen? These hashtags keep freaking repeating themselves. Cardi points out that social media has served as a great tool to keep the conversation going, but there is no action behind a hashtag. I feel like I've done videos against police brutality. Brutality. I feel like this is like my seventh time. Like I've been doing police brutality videos ever since my teeth been f***ed up. And the only sh that changed has been my f teeth. The rapper also had a call to action to her fans. Another way for uh, the people to take power. I don't want to make everything political, but it is what it is. It's by voting. I recognize now how I misconstrued her words. I ask Cardi and her faithful fan base for forgiveness and let this serve as a learning experience for me, not only as a journalist, but as a human being. Doug Kolk, KTLA 5 News.